Right, today I'm going to show you how to uh, encrypt your password in WPA supplicant in etc slash WPA underscore supplicant. There's a file called WPA underscore supplicant dot conf, which is this file here. Okay, when you look in it, you'll see that your GUI had generated this section here from network down to here, minus this part, which I created. I'll explain that later. Um, so it generates a SSID with your supplied access point, which is where we call yours. So uh, I, I just created one called uh, My Wi Fi. And then it'll put your password in plain text. So if someone gets a hold of your uh, WPA supplicant file, they'll see your password. Or like in this case here, you accidentally see it. So you want to encrypt that. So let's do that now. It's this command called WPA underscore passphrase. WPA underscore P-A-S-S-P-H-R-A-S-E. And whatever your SSID is, you put in your SSID. And then you'll read your password, which is, I'll just create one. So whatever your password is, and it'll generate that, it'll generate the entire thing for you. Um, it just generally recreates what you did, what the GUI did. But all you need is this line here, where it says P S K equal, and then you got all this long string here. Because before it was just P S K equal, and your plain text password, and you don't want that, so. All you got to do is copy this line here and then run your favorite uh, editor, whatever that may be. And what you're going to do is just paste it here. Paste this very long string here. And look, okay, you want to delete this part here. My passphrase, my the old passphrase, the plain text passphrase, has been encrypted, and so now when someone sees your uh, config file, all they see is the encrypted gibberish here. And all you gotta do is reboot, and it should just work. Now this this line here that I put in myself, this was not generated by the uh, GUI when you. Start, start X and then you run the uh, wireless uh, uh, tool which connects you to your uh, network if your network is already broadcasting then it'll just connect so normally it defaults to the this scan underscore SSID equals zero that's if your access point was broadcasting and then your GUI would just connect you with no problem but if your access point was not broadcasting and then you bring up your GUI and you set up your access point, you put in your uh, SSID, whatever the name of your uh, access point is, and then you put in the password and you reboot it and you notice that it doesn't connect. All you gotta do is go to your same conf file, the uh, WPA underscore supplicant conf file, and just add this one line here inside network and you add in uh, just just slip it in here if it's not there just add and it won't be there so you'll just type it in equal one for non-broadcast or hidden SSID and you just save it that's all you gotta do um, one thing about uh, non-broadcast SSIDs, uh, it just doesn't show up when you're running Windows or when you're running the uh, GUI uh, uh, connector here, the uh, Wi-Fi tool. It just won't show up. But if you're using a, a, a simpler uh, scanner that doesn't have any uh, fancy functions, it, it just it will show up as a uh, MAC address. 
So the uh, smart um, tools that that default with, that come default with your uh, your favorite operating system just just decides it just sees that it's not broadcasting that it just won't show it, but uh, it can be seen. It's not uh, it's not totally hidden, so it is visible even if you say don't broadcast because they still can find your uh, MAC address. It just shows up as with no name. Um, so, so not showing it, it's not really true security because it, it does show up. Alright, um, so I hope that helps. Uh, Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the console here. And it's gonna plug in the keyboard. Get the keyboard plugged in to my, uh, a Raspberry Pi here, and I'm just gonna actually just start it up. Right, I'm just gonna start just to make sure that it does indeed work. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring it down. I have down WLAN zero. And just make sure it's down, and then I'm just gonna bring it back up. I have up WLAN zero, and and I can ping Google, as you can see. Ping Google, I can ping Google. There you go, the uh, encrypt password works. Encrypt password, and it works. Okay, that's fine. There you have it. Thanks for watching.